go, I'm Mickey from Up Car Talk, back with another beer review. So it is the second uh, beer in a row that I'm going to review from Eakin Brewery. Um, Eakin Brewing Company special release, the Vinlander Dark Rum Spiced Porter. Spiked, I should say. So Dark Rum Spiked Porter. Um, Canned on the 6th of the second 20, so still relatively fresh. 6.5% ABV, 1.9 standard drinks. Um, as mentioned in the last video, they are unfilled and unpasteurized, made with only water, malt, hops, yeast, and brewed uh, with a rebellion against mash produced beer. So, once again, I don't think these guys are going to sell it anytime soon to the big conglomerates. We'll crack this one open, give it a go. Oh, got that typical porter uh, aroma. Okay, we'll go a little bit sort of uh, slightly aggressive on the pour there. I'm not picking up a lot of um, dark rum. Fruits and whatever else on the on the aroma, but beers can surprise you with their flavours, um, and it might be different uh, with the sl ever so slightly of the glass, slight uh, spice rum. Not a lot though, so like I say, it might surprise me. The flavours might surprise me a lot more than the aromas. Found that with a few beers lately. It has been allowed to warm a little. I don't want to be drinking something that has got that sort of base to it. Not a lot of information on the can either, so how they're going about doing it, I don't know. But. Um, with those sorts of ingredients, well, what I think would be those sorts of ingredients, I don't really want to um, drink it ice cold, so I've allowed it to warm. That is black as the ace of spades, lovely head, you know, about a one and a half again. Um, very consistent carbonation for, for those sorts of beers. Can't tell you whether there's any rising bubbles there. This one seems a little bit more compact, being a darker beer. Um, probably got a lot more um, substance to what you find within the head of a beer. Now, when it comes to the darker ones, they are definitely a lot more creamier, a um, lot more um, uh, ability to hold a head. No, I'm just not getting a lot of uh, um, spiced, dark rum spiked. Where I'm getting the spices from, I don't know. I expect the dark rum to be raisins and um, um, sort of uh, Christmas fruit cake. Anyway, let's dive in. So as that sort of flavour hit my palate and drawn in through the nose, I got a, a hint of vanilla. So vanilla beans could have been used in the actual um, um, dark rum. So it's warm on the palate, um, that'll be the alcohol and the perception of, um, of uh, a dark rum. A little bit of coffee, that vanilla's there, that sort of a sweetness to it um, um, in, in relation to uh, what I expect from um, dark rum with vanilla. Slight pepper. 
definitely um, getting that rum sort of up here around the back of the palate. Starting a little, little bit more on the aroma now. Um, but it's the warming, the warming effect. It's sort of started in here, sort of gone over here and then down the rest of my body. Um, definitely um, what I'm getting with the spiked um, can comment would be maybe that it, um, they've just used a rum uh, in the in the um, in the process, not so much a barrel. No sort of uh, real aging. It's just probably been a process that's been directly applied. Um, with the use of the the dark rum, hence why it says spiked. I think it's just been spiked in that way. Um, spiking it and then maybe barrel aging it would be something really nice. I'd I would um, I'd like to see with that particular beer. It's very very nice. Um, definitely one of the better porters. Like I said, I've not had not had a bad beer from Ecom. Not I, I can. Honestly, say straight up front, um, these guys are doing great things. Um, very, very underrated. Um, oh, yeah, I'm getting it now. I'm getting that sort of uh, slight inner seed vanilla. Raisins and slight cinnamon about it. So very, very nice um, dark rum spiked porter. Well done, Ecom. Um, two beers in a row from Ecom. The last one being the um, Citrum Supreme Grapefruit Pale Ale, and um, this one being the Vinlander uh, Dark Rum Spiked Porter. So, yeah, very nice. Um, very, very nice. I'll be definitely um, following these guys a lot more closely with the with their releases, special releases that they're bringing out, um, cannot be, um, cannot be personally underrated by me from here on in. Uh, yeah, like I said, I think I'll concentrate more on heading towards those, those beers that are uh, more local to us within the Hunter Valley, Central Coast, and uh, uh, Karingai and Northern Beaches areas. Of Sydney, ah, beautiful, uh, great lacing there as well as you can see. Um, oh, yeah, I'm getting more and more of that um, that dark rum starting to develop as we go on. Cheers.